RBG Real Estate Episode 10 Unusual day And Well, believe it or not We're now dealing with just one story Fog goes missing for the whole morning Pero, of course, kailang Pumasok sa trabaho si Cotton eh Eh Na Nakita ka agad ito ni Lerfuri at Rakira So, tinanong nila What's wrong, Cotton eh and e bigla may dumating na kliyente si isa na an elf so sinabi nila nila kay Cotton eh, to, uh, to cheer up and yeah focus on work muna which she exactly did inopera na agad sila ni ni Cotton eh, ng isang property na siguro nakakita sa mga listing nila so pinresent niya ngayon kay Laro Furia Rakira and you know Rufurio just is just astounded as to how efficient uh, Cotton is today So pinakita niya kay Isana And Well Sinabi na lang ni Isana Na Can I see this? Talagang walang Walang ganang Walang ganang magtrabaho si Cotton eh It's for the look on her face Pero In the end Nasatisfy nila ang klienteng ito Kagad Sinabi I'll take it Pero Hindi pa rin masaya si Cotton eh Because all morning long, she has been thinking about Fa. Kasi nga, missing since this morning. Hi, Lynn. They spent the whole afternoon looking for Fa. Then, as time went on, kasi ano na eh, patapos na yung working hours. So, sabi na lang nila kay Cotton eh na, Let, let's, let's just go home. Probably, Fa's already gotten home before you. Okay, may, may point si Rufuria doon. Uwi ka agad si Cotton eh. Ngayon si Rufuria Rakira well, oh, well, there, well, on their way home, napatikil sa, bullet, sa isang bulletin board si Rufuria. Nagtaka si, Rak si Rakira. And, ayun, nakita nila both. There's a newspaper article there which shows Fa as a mystery girl that was sighted during a dragon attack. Mmm! Nung gabi yun, Nakita na lang ni Cotton eh, si Fa nakabulagta sa 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 bukana ng apartment nila. So of course, she she had to take care of her. Then um uh, tumawag si Rufuria, tinatanong kung umuwi kung nakauwi na si Fa. What? She lied. Flat out. Dumating si Rufuria Rakira. And kasama si si Fa. And Rufuria just said Kotori, you're a bad liar. And explain me lang kay Kotori kung bakit sila nandun. Kumuha ba sila ng kopya ng jaryong yun? Pinakita kay Kotori na eto nga. This is... Proverbially, they're saying, this is 80% proof that Fa has something to do with the dragon. Uh, another few minutes later, dumating na si Isa na. Who, well, si Isa na pala, castle employee. So, she had no choice but to report to the authorities. Ayun, kasakasama niya yung arresting team. Okay? Yung dami, daming sundalo. So, inaresto nila si Fa. In a desperate attempt to to rescue her, humabol si Cotton eh. But, final scene. So, ito na nga, yung uh, the convoy that's carrying Fa was suddenly attacked by the dragon. So, Ang tumatabo, ang tumatabo na sa isip ni Fa Ay salamat Hindi na ako magbibintangan <laughs> Then all of a sudden Totally rescue sir With the help of one of their clients You guys still remember that client Na merong alagang Pegasus Yup Katulong niya rito sa pag rescue kay Fa Ganito na lang gawin natin mga Digo mga ka lifestyle Let's break that episode down now, critics of style. Base! The usual slice of light pacing in the first half of the episode. Pero, things got really tense nung uh, nagpakita na uli si Fa. Alright? Kasi, from the opening scene, medyo na-establish na yung connection ni, ni Fa dito sa dragon. No, no, who's, been, who's been attacking uh, certain towns do I have complaints mga ka-lifestyle bigo wala you know 
Maganda ang timing ng pacing ng episode na to. Bakit? It's the final three episodes already. We're on the road to the finale, guys. Next week, final two episodes na ng anime na to. And the, we're now getting closer to the truth behind Fuss. Uh, actual identity. Flo naman. Well, first gear shift here was when... Um, nung that, that sequence where nag-break nung nag-breakdown na si Kotone in front of the client si Isana right? If you've seen the episode yeah, you'd see that for me, that's a gear shift bakit? kasi if Kotone didn't open up at this point hindi malalaman ni Isana yung yung uh, tao dito kung anong hugot ni Cotton eh now isa na would play a big role later on in the episode kasi siya nga ang nag-report kay Fa so eto pa lang dito pa lang kumambyo na ang episode na to dito pa lang second gear shift was when ayun nga um Nagpakita ulit si Pa. Eh, nagpakita ulit si Pa. No brainer there. Because she's been having these um, episodes wherein magigising na lang siya sa, ibang, sa isang lugar na hindi siya pamilyar. Which scares the shit out of her. So, but this gear shift tells you na Confirmed na ang suspecha nila ni Rufuria, ni Isana, ni um, pa pati siguro ng mga mga townspeople. And, uh, pero, hindi pa rin matanggap ni Koto ni ang facts of the case. Final gear ship is of course, yun nga, the arrest scene. Nope, not the final scene, guys. The arrest scene. You can view that gear shift as um, a positive or a negative. If you view it from uh, from the side of the main protax, it's a positive. But if you view it from the side of Isana, it's a negative. Right? Pero, bottom line, ginampanan lang niya yung trabaho niya. Kasi, siguro at that time, natunugan na ang ang um, mga castle employees about this mysterious girl and yung pala, yun nga eh empleyado pala ng RPG real estate ito uh, I wasn't able to mention this a while ago pero dun talaga yun ang all time high ng pace ng, ng episode na to nung inaresto na si Pa so these three gear shifts that I saw definitely will play a role in the final two episodes plot wise Hindi ko masasabi yung planchado because it's not two different stories, guys. It's just one whole episode. Talaga ko masasabi mo one whole episode ito. Kaya, malinis ang plot. Digo, mga ka-lifestyle. No, so no side stories, back stories, or whatever. Pero, yung opening scene, you can call that an explainer sequence. Kasi, it supports um, the newspaper's claim. Yung, yung nakitang yung nakitang dyaryo nga ni Rufo na nakapost doon sa, sa billboard. Nakapost doon sa bulletin board. So yeah, they instantly got a copy of that paper para may pakita na kay Kotone na yeah, our suspicions are correct. Only a clean plot can make you understand that. So, pace, flow, and plot, they all came together for this episode, folks. So, RPG Real Estate, episode 10, no-brainer. Two thumbs up! Uh, looks like the, um, looks like the sales and real estate brokerage lessons are over. <laughs> Yung alam. So, tingko, we're going to uh, well, this anime is going to focus now on on fast past. Kung ano 
kung sino talaga siya, kung ano ang kung ano talaga ang kilalalagyan niya. And probably Father doesn't know herself. And well, she has her friends. Of course, si Cotone, Rufuria, Rakira. And most, and the way the, fi and way the, the way the final scene ran, most of the clients, they have they have uh, they have helped find new homes. Yung mga talagang masasabi mo mga loyal mga loyal customers nila. So, it's a combination of things. It's a combination of sorts. Kaya, Migo, mga ka-lifestyle, tutok pa more. Final two episodes na. So again, RPG Real Estate, muntang ko na makakalimutan. Episode 10, two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for RPG, mga ka-lifestyle. Wow. Kato so to the finale feels. Talagang, tutok pa more tayo. Tutukan na natin, guys. Patreon! Ah, oh, Patreon. Pwede! Wala na nga pala Patreon. Bigo! Wait for my next upload regarding this anime. Well, as long as you... As long as you keep dropping those beans, of course. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD... Oy! Malalaman na natin ang true identity ni Fa! Hindi ba na kayo maayos? Ay, wala akong magagawa kundi panoor nila kayo mag-chill-chill dyan. Bahala kayo sa buhay nyo. <laughs> Enjoy this review and I'll see you in the next one.